is it permissible to do yoga in islam recently i read somewhere that it is an act of hindu worshiping is it true can you please explain as far as yoga is concerned if you go to its history it originated somewhere close to 5000 years before it originated in 3000 bc in the pre-vedic age in the indus valley civilization and yoga it is associated with physical mental as well as spiritual activities and it is also mentioned later on in the hindu scriptures it's mentioned in the rigveda volume number 5 chapter number 81 verse number 1 the word yoga is mentioned in relation to the sun god it's mentioned in the upanishads it's mentioned in the hindu scriptures it's mentioned in the buddhist scriptures including the jain scriptures and you'll find it's mentioned in the 5th and 6th century bc and it was made more famous to the western world in the 20th century by swami vivekananda the word yoga means union it means union with god it also means union with spirit there are various different meanings depending upon the context it occurs in whether in the veda in the upanishad in bhagavad gita but it is for sure associated with hinduism and also with buddhism and jainism as far as whether yoga is permissible or not there is one group of scholars say that it's a form of exercise and as long you're concerned only with the exercise and not related with the religious aspect it is permitted there is another group of scholars say that as long as you do not do anything haram which is not against the sharia yoga is permitted but the majority of the scholars they agree that yoga in any form it is not permissible it is haram and if we analyze that yoga is associated with hinduism and as i mentioned the meaning of yoga is union with god and there are various different forms and asanas of yoga one of the most famous is the surya namaskar which is the salutation to sun god so but naturally this is nothing but a form of idol worship it's a form of worshiping a false god i'm sorry so many of the asanas and the practices of yoga it is related with hinduism and it leads to shirk so based on this aspect according to me i do agree with the last group of scholar and the majority of scholars who say that yoga in any form if a muslim does it is prohibited it is not permissible for a muslim to involve in any of the yoga practices and if you analyze the main goal of yoga is to attain moksha it is to attain salvation So since it is regarding hinduism involving associating partners with god which is shirk it means attaining salvation so according to me yoga in any form it is prohibited those muslims who say it is permitted they may not be aware of the of the teachings of hinduism they may not be aware of comparative religion and in ignorance they may have been giving their view but according to me for a muslim doing yoga is prohibited hope that's the question